Hey, yo, 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 yo. New Pokemon trailer just dropped. So as you couldn't tell already, a new Pokemon trailer dropped for Gen 9, Scarlet and Violet. And I'm quite excited for it. The trailer gives a better insight to what the world's gonna look like, stuff we might encounter and so on. Very normal stuff that you'd see in the trailer. Sadly, some of it isn't polished though. Very, very not polished in certain aspects. But from the crappiness aside, let's look at the stuff we got. First up the bat, we got some new Pokemon. Looking pretty spiffy. I mean, we have the uh, three starters. We got three more new Pokemon, other than the legendaries that were introduced, but they're not as cool. Uh, we got another Pikachu clone. The name is Pommy. It's Electric Mouse. How original. But we also got two other Pokemon. Uh, another one to clone, again, but not as bad. Um, if you guys remember the Pokemon Badoo from, I think, Gen 4, it's one of the Gen 4 babies. Um, it's Smoliv is the Pokemon. It looks extremely similar to Badoo. Not Badoo, yeah, Badoo. Yeah, yeah, Badoo's a Pokemon, yeah, yeah. And then the last Pokemon that we got has taken over the Pokemon fan base by Storm, Lechonk. And, oh boy, I love that name, Lechonk. Mmm. Sexy. These three Pokemon also came with a new trainer. More than likely, it's our rival. I think it's a rival. Uh, her name's Naomi. Nami. It's with an N. I don't know how to say it. It's Spanish. Sacre bleu. In the trailer, it actually shows uh, our character battling uh, Naomi. 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 And it appears to be a very large open world. Which, kind of crazy, kind of cool, you, you know what I mean, man? Not to mention that the other characters it introduces are the two new professors. And oh boy, we got two, that's pretty cool. We have two new professors for each new version of the game. Now, they won't be in both games, it'll be one for each version. Kind of like how Black and White had their truth and ideals kind of thing. It's one or the other. It's a take or give kind of thing. Which is pretty cool. I haven't seen Pokemon actually go full forced with a new concept for some characters in a while. Uh, most of them have been dog watered. Sword and Shield was dog water. I hated it. But I digress. I do have to say though, the graphics look eerily similar to a game that came out several, several years ago. Pokemon Coliseum. Like, the polygons aren't all the same. But if you look at the buildings, like side by side, Man, they look similar than a dog. Now, going back to, to the professors, um, they're kind of hot. That's like a general consensus on the fan base. And I agree. Ooh, mama. Are they fine? One's uh, a very savage Ooga Booga lady who's like, mmm, muscular woman. Ooh la la. And then the dude's like, very sleek, very Chad, like, very... Fallout 4 characteristic. I like the uh, the clashing ideas from uh, somewhat savagery to modern. Now moving on to the legendaries. Uh, their names are Mariadon and Coriadon. Very original. They look cool. We don't really get too much of a glimpse at them except for like some 3D trailer. That's cool and all. But what I think is absurdly obvious is that we're gonna ride them. We're literally going to ride the legendaries. I know what you're saying, like, oh, what? We're gonna ride the legendaries? That sounds weird. It does. On the Pokemon Twitter site, it says that these Pokemon are going to have some type of unseen power that we've never seen before, basically. So, they're trans it's a transformer. We're getting transformer legendaries that we're gonna ride. The one looks like a jet, the future one looks futuristic one looks like a jet. And then, Home Dog Lizard Man, Red Boy, looks like a motorcycle. It's in their names, Riodon. Yeah, ride it. It's open world. It's one of the only open worlds that's going to be this vast of a Gen 9 game, not including Legends Arceus. I'm not really acknowledging that game. It's a good game, but I'm not, it's not a part of this. Also, with the open world, it's not going to be linear, which is absolutely mind-boggling. Pokemon has never done something like this before, and hopefully... It does not crash and burn like how Black and White did, because the last time they tried to do something new, it backfired horribly, and I don't want that to happen. So, Pokemon, make the game good, please. But with this not having true linear progression, and 
there's actually kind of evidence for this in the Twitter. The Pokemon company is suggesting that you can quote unquote choose your own adventure and kind of go to whichever gym you want to go to, which kind of spiffy. But honestly, we don't really get too much information. It's very, very vague on what the Pokemon company is leaving to interpretation. But that's all I got. Uh, I hopefully uh, this game isn't bad and I want it to do really good. The characters look really, really cool. And uh, that's about it. See ya. Uh.